And then again, it's five o'clock yogis. It's time for your, your traditional 90 minute hot yoga class. So everyone make your way up. No one brand new. So come to standing. Nice to see everybody. Um, feel free to adjust your camera so I can, if you want some adjustment as we go. And we're gonna start with pranayama breathing. So deep inhale through the nose, uh, exhale through the mouth, all while using your throat muscles. So breathe as slow, breathe as long, breathe as much as possible. Start with toes heels touching, and interlock your fingers based on underneath your chin. Thumbs with the throat, relax your shoulders down, stack shoulders over hips over ankles, exhale all the air out to prepare. Have a great class everyone, let's begin. Deep inhale through the nose, arms up, Elbows up, eyes focus, suck the stomach in, fill your lungs, and hold it. Exhale, slowly drop the head back. Keep your chest lifted to have a straight spine. Bring palms, wrists, elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, slowly head down. Head comes down, the arms lift up, moving arms, head, and breath together. Hold it. Exhale, head up, head back. Mouth wide open, make the H A ha sound. Chest lifted as you push in the belly, empty your lungs. Inhale, head down, head down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows on four, touch lungs empty. Inhale, head down. Now really pull the belly in, go slow here. You try to take in more breath, especially towards the end, take in more and hold it. Exhale, head up, head back. Mouth wide open. H A ha sound like you're fogging up the mirror on the ceiling. Elbows go forward to touch. Lungs empty. Inhale, head down. Full lungs, hold it. Exhale. Inhale, head down. Exhale, head up. Inhale, head down. Exhale, head up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last breath of the first set. So try to make this your deepest breath. Really pull the belly and fill your lungs bottom to top. Exhale, head up, head back. As you push the air out, try to completely empty the lungs. And then lungs empty, arms down by your sides. Toes, heels touching. Do a second set. We're going to team the warm the body from the inside out. Toes, heels touching. Interlock your fingers, thumbs against your throat. Relax the shoulders. Contract your thighs. Strong foundation. Exhale the air out and begin. Please deep and healthy the nose for one, two, three, four, five, six. Full lungs. Hold it. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Six, elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down, slowly head down. Use the throat muscles here, create that aspiration sound, vibration of the air. Hold it at the top, full lungs. Exhale, head up, head back. So mouth wide open, nice and slow, chest lifted, no backward bending. Elbows come forward to touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down, one, two, three, four, five, six, full lungs, hold it. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Elbows touch, lungs empty. Inhale, head down. Exhale. Inhale, head down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, 
up slowly and head down. Check your hips, you may push your hips a little bit forward, pull the belly in, fill your lungs with maximum lung capacity. Exhale, head up and head back. Nice and slow. And relax the shoulders down as you bring the elbows forward to touch. Inhale, head down. Let's do two more. So each breath, you try to take in more, especially towards the end, take in more and more and more. That's the way. Exhale, head up and back. Last breath on your own. Inhale, head down. lungs empty, relax your arms down to your sides. Start the asanas versus half moon with hands of feet pose. Toes just touching thigh side by side, knees tracking point straight ahead. Please inhale your arms up over it sideways. Interlock your fingers, release your next fingers across the thumbs. Half moon. Inhale, stretch up out of the waist and bend your body right, left, right, left, right, left. So warm up here, you spin the body right, left, right, left, right, left. Try to create a little stretching sensation on each side of the body. Every time you come to the center, stretch up at the waist towards the ceiling and even out right, left, right, left, right, left, and stop to the center. We'll do the setup from the top, so palms flat all the way down to the wrist, chin up, throat visible, and arms back, biceps and ears. No gas between the biceps, arms, and ears. Push your hips a little bit forward and upper body back. The spine absolutely straight. Shift maximum body weight to your heels. Inhale, stretch up out of the waist as you bend your upper body to the right and push your hips to the left. Then an absolutely straight line without bending the elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the left, so it's beyond the flexibility. You're trying to create a stretching sensation all on the left side of your body, inside out, bones of skin, fingertips down to your toes. Now palms flat, biceps with ears, elbows stay locked, weight more to the heels, hips forward, a little bit upper body back. If the left hip drop forward, so push the left hip forward, at the same time it's right shoulder forward. So two shoulders and hips equal distance, more arms back. Contract your thighs and glutes, now go to your edge here, inhale, stretch and reach to the right as you push your hips down to the left, come down, push, 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 change, come back up the center. Bring your chin up, arms back, palms flat, weight to the heels, hips forward, upper body back, inhale, full lung, stretch up, then the upper body to the left as you push your hips to the right. So absolutely straight line with the spine, shoulders over hips over ankles, contract your thighs, that's the way, Eric, hips a little bit forward, upper body back, palms flat together, so no room for leg space or air there. Maybe you can squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep the biceps with the ears. If the right hip drop back, so that's you push that forward. So it's right hip and left shoulder. So I'm exaggerating that. Right hip, left shoulder forward. Shoulders and hips equal distance. Contract your thighs. Now use your left hip and push into the right. To come down a little bit deeper. Go to your edge. Inhale, stretch and reach. Push your hips to the right. Come down. Push, push, push. Change. That's the way. And come all the way back to the center. Let's do the back bend. Take a deep breath and slowly drop your head back. So relax your neck muscles. Shake your head side to side. Shift your weight to the heels. The first direction of backward bending is up. Inhale, stretch up out of the waist and reach your arms back. Draw a line from the ceiling all the way towards the wall behind you. Keep your chest lifted. So chest up, just the arms back a little bit deeper. You stay out of the lower spine. Inhale, chest up and arms back. Now really shift your weight to your heels and push your stomach, hips, and thighs forward. That creates the total spine back or bending from coccyx to your neck. Now go to your edge, inhale, stretch, and reach. Go back, look back, way back, and fall back. Change slowly, come all the way up. Arms and head together, inhale, stretch up and forward fold. It's a nice straight spine. And bend your knees if you need to. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. You'll walk it out right left, right left. Right, left. So shake it out here, and then knee right, right, left, right, left, right, left. You shake your head, yes and no. So just warming up the lower spine. And let's do Padastasana. Squat down as much as you need to. Bring thumb to thighs, chest to the knees. 
and grab your heels from behind. Step on off by fingers. Line the pinky fingers up side by side the best you can. Elbows back behind your calf muscles. Roll your weight forward, the balls of your feet begin to pull. Pull on your heels, lift your hips up towards the ceiling, loose thumb to thighs, chest to knees. If your legs are straight around the straight, you can try to press your forehead against your shin below the knees. Otherwise, you let your head hang heavy and pull using the bicep strength here. Now, from the side, there's no room for lights here. It straight face for air. You might have to bend your knees more. Roll your weight forward on the balls of your feet and pull. Stretch the upper body down towards the floor. Push your knees back behind you. Right here, very end. Pull your heels, hips up towards the ceiling, and try to lock the knees. Change arms and head together. Straight spine, inhaling on the way up. All the way up at the top. Exhale, relax your arms down. Toes, heels touching side by side. Relax your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Second step, go a little bit faster. Inhale your arms up, over sideways. Interlock the fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, stretch up and bend the upper body to the right. Push your hips to the left. You got it, Richard. Absolutely straight spine. Second set, see if you can go right back to where you were on first set. You might have some more range of motion here. Continuously push your hips left. The correction would be needed is left hip forward, right shoulder forward, arms more back, weight to the heels. Inhale, stretch and reach the right. Push your hips to the left, Katrina. Here we go, come down and push, push, push. Change, that's the way, come all the way back up the center. Chin up, arms back. Inhale, stretch up, and upper body to the left, hips to the right. Use the breath of the setup when you meet your first point of resistance. You exhale, establish your breathing pattern, calm, normal breathing, in and out through the nose. Contract your thighs and glutes. This side is right hip forward and left shoulder forward, or arms back. You're already coming towards the end. Go to your deepest point here. Inhale, stretch, push your hips to the right. Come down and push, push. Push, change, come back up the center. Half moon back bend, take a deep breath, slowly drop your head back. Relax your neck muscles, weight to the heels, inhale, lift your chest up, stretch up, and arms back. Arms immediately back for the wall behind you. Chest is lifted and arms back. Arms back deeper. So this isn't a this isn't a dump in the lower spine, it's chest up, chest up and arms back. Weight to the heels, push stomach, hips, and thighs forward. Now your total spine is backward bending. Now we'll look back, reach back, way back, and fall back. Change, come all the way up. Inhale, stretch up forward, fold. Nice and slow on the way down. Hands touch the floor. You take your time here, not quite warmed up yet. And walk it out, right, left, right, left, right, left. So yoga, cha, 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 shake it out. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Maybe do a little flash dance. Wiggle it out. That's the way in. Shake your hips out. You got it, Richard. Let's do Padastasana. Squat down as much as you need to. Thumb and thighs, chest, knees. Grab your heels. Roll your weight forward and the balls of your feet begin to pull. Pull and stretch your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. Thumb to thighs, chest and knees from the side. There's no room for light, space, or air. Continuously keep pulling here. Pulling is the object of stretching. Lift your hips up. You should feel stretching, all posterior stretching, all on the back side of your body, especially your, your hamstrings, your back, all the way to the base of your neck, top of your forehead, roll your weight forward, elbows back behind the calf muscles. As you pull, use all of your bicep strength, bring some of the thighs, chest, and knees, and stretch the top of your head down to the top of your feet. Change, arms and head together, interlock fingers, nice and slow. Exhale, arms down, toes, heels touching. Okay, we warm the spine, now we're gonna warm the legs, Ukatasana, awkward series. Step your right foot up to the right, hip width distance apart. Double up this distance if you're new between the toes and the heels. Inhale, arms up, parallel to the floor. Arms are strong, engaged, elbows locked, triceps engaged. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, and sit down, feet flat position. So sit all the way into the chair here. You want to sit down low, so we're not in the posture of that yet. You get your chest down low, thighs parallel to the floor, 
Shift your weight to the heel. Now you want to lift your chest, arching the upper body back. So keep six inches from your hands, your knees, your toes, and heels. So you might make the adjustments. If your toes are pointing out, bring them back in. Keep the knees six inches between your knees. Pull the belly in. Contract the abdominal muscles. Contract the abdominal wall as you sit down deeper and lift the chest, arch your upper body back. Change. You got to bend slowly. Come all the way up. Second part, tremendous concentration and spin on top of your toes. Come all the way up. These are your Barbie doll feet in. Lift your chest, spine, head up. Exhale and sit down on top of the toes. So you get right into this one. Note the leg. So you sit into the chair. It's not a bar stool. It's a chair. So sit down deep. You want to keep your spine straight. So you might have to lift your upper body back. Hips over, over your hip. The so shoulders over your hips. Now lift your knees up. Lift your knees up. And lift your heels up. Come up maximum on the toes. Change. Come up. Ooh, lower the heels down. Third part. Cover your toes just a little bit. Squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. Exhale. Breathe in. Contract your abdominal muscles and slowly lower yourself down. Taking your time here. Spine stay straight. That's the way, Eric. And you want to stop when there's a half inch gap between your hips and your heels. Roll your knees down and forward and upper body back. So from the side, it looks and feels like you're holding a box. Keep squeezing your knees and inner thighs together. Slowly, slowly press yourself up. Take your time. Slower than you want to. And then it's knees apart. Heels down, right foot back to left. Arms to your sides. Okay. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Second set. Step your right foot out to the right. Hip width, arms out, parallel to the floor. Stomach engage, exhale, and sit down. Sit right into the chair, sit down deep. So you want to make sure the body is parallel to the floor. Sit all the way down, stretch the arms forward, maximum weight to the heel, lift the chest, upper body back. Six inches, hands, knees, toes, and heels. Pull the belly in, you can track the abdominal muscles, compression of the abdominal wall. Sit down a little bit deeper. As you lean back, go back, lay back, if you're trying to pull down backwards. Change, come on. Second part, down top to your toes. Come all the way up, chest, spine, head up. Exhale, sit down right on top of the toes. The heels stay lifted. And you get right into it, no delays here. Spine, you want to stay straight, so if you're leaning forward, it's upper body back. You got it, Eric, that's the way. Now try to lift your knees up more. And your heels up and come up maximum on the toes. Change, come up. Lower your heels down. You got a class third part. Come up with the toes just a little bit. Squeeze knees and your thighs together. Exhale, breathing slowly. Lower yourself down. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. There's a half inch gap between the hips and the heels. Knees down for upper body back. Stretching your arms forward. We're going to go slow here, so I won't hold you long. Squeeze your inner thighs together and slowly, slowly press yourself up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo. Heels down, right foot back, arms to your sides. Okay, let's compress all major joints of the body. We'll take a water break. Downward Dawson, the Eagle Pose. So, still stretch. Inhale your arms up. Thumbs touch, swing the right arm underneath the left, cross at your elbows, again at your wrist. So if you can't try to get your palms flat together, that's not an option. If that's not possible, you can interlock the fingers, pull the elbows down, and sit down. You bend both knees and sit down. Shift your weight to the heel, lift the right leg high up and over, and wrap the foot around the back of the calf muscle. So maybe the foot doesn't wrap, not a problem. You just point the foot in the direction you want to go. Shift the weight to the heel as you lift your chest, upper body back. For alignment, is knees to the right, upper body to the left. Stack your, your hands, elbows, knees, feet all down the center line of the body and sit down deeper. Shift your weight more to the heel, lifting the chest, pull the elbows down, upper body back. Change, toes, heel, stretch. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. And it's the left arm underneath the right. Cross, wrap, twist. 
Palms flat, pull the elbows down and sit down in the chair. Bend both knees. It's left leg high up and over. You can you wrap the foot. Might feel different from side to side. Check the weight to the heel, lift your chest, upper body back. Now knees left, upper body to the right. Hands elbows, knees, feet down, center line of the body. Sit down deeper, contract the abdominal muscles. You might have to pull the right shoulder down to shoulders even and hips even. These arms and legs together, everything tight like ropes. Lift your chest, upper body back. Change, toes, heels, touch. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. We go right in the second set, swing the right arm underneath the left. You got it, Katrina. Pull the elbows down and sit down. Right leg high up and over, and wrap the foot. Eventually, all five toes come around. Maybe not today, but you just try. That's the way, Richard. Now sit down deeper, lift your chest, upper body back. Knees right, upper body to the left. Squeeze arms and legs together. As you sit down deeper, compressing all the 14 major joints of the body, lifting the chest, upper body back. Change, toes, toes, touch. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Left arm underneath the right. Cross front twist, pull the elbows down, sit down in the chair. Left leg, high up and over, and wrap the foot. It's not going to wrap. There you go. Now sit down deeper, squeeze arms and legs, pulling elbows down towards the floor. Engage the abdominal. Pull the belly in. Sit down deeper, a little bit knees left, upper body to the right. Now work on squeezing arms and legs together, palms flat together, pull elbows down, lifting the chest, upper body back. Change, toes, heels, touch. Inhale, arms up. And arms to your sides. It is party time. Let's have some water. Great warm up class. Okay. All right, once you have some water, uh, let's move forward with the balancing series. Starting with separate leg, forehead to knee posture, Danyamana, Danyarasana. Please shift your weight to your left foot, contract the left thigh. So left thigh contracted, lift the right leg up, round forward, interlock all 10 fingers on the ball of your right foot. Go ahead and grab the right foot. It's a living to living grip, nice tight grip. Please don't lose this grip. And start to finish, just focus your eyes on one spot, about four feet in front of you. Now you keep your left thigh contracted, so it's not a hyperextension, it's a strong left thigh. Hip over knee over the ankle, so stack the joints here. If you want to go to the second part, if you have a strong locked out left leg, inhale, lift right leg up. And right leg lifts up parallel. You got it. And yeah, looking good. Kick from your hip to your heel and flex your toes back towards your face. Eventually, all five toes go beyond perpendicular. Once two legs lock, you can bend the elbows down. You want to go deeper here. That's the way, Richard. Bend the elbows down. Elbows slide down the sides for your calf muscles. Eventually, fall below. Hold it for three, two, one. Change. You come back the opposite way, step by step. Toes, heels touching. Go ahead and shift your weight to your right foot. Distribute the weight evenly all across your right foot. Lift your left leg up. Round four, pull the belly in, and interlock all ten fingers on the ball of the left foot. So try to include the thumb underneath the foot. That's the way, Eric. And pull the belly in. That way you protect the lower spine. Right thigh is contracted. So if there's any bend in the right knee, work on straightening up the right leg. You can hold it right here. If you have a locked out right leg, inhale, lift your left leg up. Yes, Katrina, really nice, looking strong on you. You kick from hip to heel, flex the toes back towards your face. Eventually, all five toes beyond perpendicular. Kick from your hip to your heel, two legs locked, bend the elbows down. Elbows slide down the sides of your calf muscles. Eventually, they fall below. Right thigh and left thigh contracted for three, two, one, change. Slowly, slowly, toes, heels, touch. Go place your hands on your hips, do a one second back bend. 
Then feel good, I release the lower spine. And second set. So second set will get a little bit faster. Shift your weight to your left foot, pick your right leg up, round forward, grab your foot, hit the grip here, pull the belly in, left thigh contracted and strong, inhale, right leg lifts up. So we only go about five, six seconds each part, kick from hip through heel, flex your toes back, yes, and two legs locked and the elbows down. Elbows fall below the calf muscles, tuck your chin, round your spine, look at your stomach and place your forehead on the knee. You got it, Richard. Three, two, one, change, come back. Really great form, Katrina, toes, heels touch, arms down by your sides. Shift weight to the right foot, pick your left leg up, round forward, interlock all ten fingers, grab the foot, right thigh contracted, inhale, the left leg goes up, so just do the best you can, contract your left thigh, contract your right thigh, you might feel some cramping, that's normal, once two legs lock, bend the elbows down, if the right knee starts to bend, go right back to the first part, elbows fall below the calf muscles, Tuck your chin around your spine, look at your stomach, and place your forehead on the knee. Fall asleep. Three, two, one. Change. Come back. Step by step. Toes, heels touch, arms down by your side. Go ahead and place your hands on the hips. Do the back bend. Come to center of your mat. Okay, that posture is tough in or out of the hot room, so it doesn't matter the temperature on that one. My heart rate's lifted. All right, let's keep the heart rates up. Standing bow pose. Shift your weight to your right foot. Bring your right hand out, palm up. Reach back, pick up the right foot from the inside. Now you want to bring the knees together and level up your hips. You got it, Eric. Inhale, left arm up. Shoulder the chin. Inhale, stretch up out of the waist and charge your body forward by kicking the right leg back and up behind you. So take your time. You charge the body forward by kicking, kick back and up. So it's like a donkey kick. Opposition, stretch the left arm forward. That's what holds you in the posture. Now when you have all that, you start to bring the body down. The belly has them in parallel to the floor as you continuously kick back and up. You want to pull your right shoulder back. It disappears behind the left. So from the front, two arms are one line. From the side, you want two feet one line. To get two feet one line, you have to kick back more and up towards the ceiling. Keep stretching your left arm forward, kicking and stretching, continuous, simultaneous, 50-50. The harder you kick, you bounce here forever. Stretch your left arm forward, body down and kick, kick back, kick up, kick, 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 change, come back. Toes, heels touch, and arms down by your sides. Okay, left side, left hand out, palm up, reach back, pick up the left foot. So you grab from the inside, Knees together, level up your hips, inhale, right arm up, shoulder the chin, inhale, stretch up, and charge, charge by kicking. Kick the left leg back and up, stretch your right arm forward as you bring the body down. Do so you pull your left shoulder, your left shoulder arm pulls back with the kick. The foot will start to come over the center of your head from behind. If it's coming out to the side, you have to roll the hip. Down. So roll your hip down and kick back more. Kicking, stretching, they're continuous and continuous 50 50 to hold you the posture. Allow the back to bend. The back bends from the lower spine as you kick and reach to equal energy. If there's a gap between your chin and your shoulder, stretch the right arm forward. Now, Katrina, try to kick back more if you can. Bring the body down. Body down more and in kick. Here we go. Final few moments and kick. Kick back, kick up. Kick, kick, kick. And that's enough. Change. So those heels touch. Arms down by your sides. Second set, half the time. Bring your right hand out, palm up. Reach back up the right foot. Knees together, left arm up. In a stretch up and charge by kicking. 30 seconds on the clock. Kick back and up. Body down. Stretch your left arm forward and kick. So you want two feet, one line from the side. You're halfway there. Keep your left thigh contracted. Body down and kick. Final few moments. Five, four, three, two, 
One, change, come back. Toes, heels, touch. Last side, last set. Left hand out, palm up. Reach back, pick up the left foot. Knees together, right arm up. Shore of the chin, inhale, stretch up and charge. So you kick, kick back and up. So we're gonna kick, stretch your right arm forward, and body down. Second set is half the time. Go to your deepest point. Try to eliminate the gap between the chin and the shoulder. Try to kick harder, bend. You got it, Eric. Body down and kick. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Toes, heels, touch. Arms down by your sides. Okay, one more balancing posture. Please travel to the back of your mat. Tula Dandasana balancing stick. Toes, heels, touch. Inhale your arms up, palms touch. Interlock the fingers, release the next fingers across the thumbs. Chin up, upper body back. Step forward, big step, right foot. Point your left toes and come down. Bring the upper body down, left leg up. The arms and legs are parallel to the floor. Keep stretching your arms forward. So shoulder scapula stretching out the body. Roll the left hip down, squeeze your inner thighs together. Contract the abdominal muscles. Stretch, 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 change. Come back, chin up. Upper body back, step forward to the left foot. Point right toes, thumb down. We're 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change, come back. Arms down to your sides, toes, heels touch. Second set, let's go right into it. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Interlock fingers. Chin up, upper body back, step forward, right foot, two knees locked, point your left toes, come down. Upper body down, left leg up. You're making a capital letter T with the body. It's not a broken umbrella. Roll your left hip down, squeeze your inner thighs together. Look four feet in front of you, so body down, get your inch other, roll your hip down, squeeze the inner thighs together. Yes, I saw that. Now stretch, 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 change, come back. Chin up, upper body back, step forward, left foot, point right toes, come down. Last side, last side. You get right into this. It's a 10 second posture. You're stretching the arms forward, shoulders out of the sockets. Roll your right hip down. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You got it. Now stretch forward, reach back, stretch, 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 change. Arms down, toes, heels touch. Please travel to the left side of your mat. The separate leg stretching is the next posture. Toes, heels touch, relax your shoulders down. Here we go. In my arms up, palms touch. Right leg steps the right, big step, arms down immediately. So nice big step here. You want the wrist to track over the ankles. You can even slightly pitch into the feet, or at least the feet are parallel. So toes in, heels out, suck the stomach in, stretch your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. Your thighs stay contracted, so no bending the knees as you come all the way down. All the way down. Uh, you walk your hands on the back side of your legs and grab your heels from behind. Stepping on all five fingers, including the thumbs. If you can't grab the, your heels, you can try the sides of your feet. Another option is you can place your hands on the floor in front of you, just to get the stretch all on the back sides of your legs. If you have your heels, begin to pull. Pull and stretch your upper body down towards the floor from the lower spine. So first you feel the stretch in your legs, then your hips, and this lower middle upper spine. Eventually in the future, you have a straight spine from coccyx to the base of your skull, or up to floor, draw the elbows towards the shins, use your bicep strength, touch your upper body down, and touch your forehead to the floor. Change, arms out, stomach sucked in, nice and slow, straight spine, that's the way in, right foot back to left, and arms your sides, toes, heels, touch. Second set, if the forward and forward touch, try a little bit smaller step. If this is a challenging posture for you, try a bigger step. So a bigger step is easier to posture and really working on contracting the thighs. That will open up the hamstrings. Second set, here we go. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. 
Right legs up to the right, big, big step, arms down, immediately toes in, heels up, pull the belly in, stretch the upper body down towards the floor. So right about halfway, why don't you stop right there, stop right there, and I'll try this. Place your hands on the back sides of your legs, and slowly, slowly walk them down. So you want to try to get down as far as you can. If you have to bend your knees, you stop right there. You can go all the way down, you grab your heels. You have to wait, Eric, looking good on you. Grab your heels from behind, that's a good posture right there. Step on all five fingers, you can grab your heels, begin to pull. Pull and stretch the upper body down. So upper body down, keep contracting the thighs, contract your thighs. That helps open up the hamstrings. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Stretch your upper body down. Final few moments, roll your weight a little bit more forward as you pull and stretch. Touch your forehead right to the floor. Change, arms up, stomach sucked in. Right foot back to its place, and then arms to your sides. All right, Trikonasana, the next posture. Peak of the standing series, toes, heels, touch. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Right legs up to the right, big step, arms down immediately. So right pushing your hips a little bit forward, upper body back. Big step here, wrist over the ankle, turn your right foot out to the right. And bend your right knee, and sit down. So you want to sit all the way down here until the thigh. So the thigh is actually parallel with the floor, and your knee checks over the ankle. Hips forward, upper body back. Inhale, breathing. Move both arms at the same time. So stretch your right hand down, right elbow on the inside of the right knee. And the palm is flat. The hand comes all the way down between the big and second toe, but no weight or pressure there. As you look up and stretch up, stretch your left arm up as you stretch the right hand down. So from the side, I would see your, your, exactly your profile of your face. Now keep stretching the arms apart, chest stays lifted, pull the belly in, push your right knee back, a little bit help of the elbow, and roll your left hip down forward. Opposition, turn and twist the upper body back, and spine twisting posture, right knee lock, right foot flat to the floor. Chain, move your arms. Now straighten the legs step by step, pivot your right foot in, the left foot out, bend your left knee and sit down. Sit all the way down. Even balance if that helps you sit down deeper. The thigh parallel, knee over the ankle, a little bit hips forward, arms stay strong, move both arms at the same time. So you're just moving the arms here. Slide the elbow on the inside of the left knee, chest up, slide straight, and look up towards the ceiling, chin to the right shoulder. Stretch your right arm up as you stretch the left hand down. Stretching the arms apart opposite direction. Natural human tug of war. Push the left knee back. Roll your right hip down forward. Turn and twist the upper body back. Right knee lock outside edge of the right foot flat to the floor. Change, move your arms. Straighten the leg. Pivot. Right foot back. And arms right down to your sides. Toes, heels touch. Inhale through the nose. From your exhale, just relax your shoulders, let the posture go. Second set, toes, heels touch. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Right legs up to the right, arms down. Big step here, hips forward, upper body back. Turn the right foot out, bend your right knee and sit down. Inhale, breathing, move both arms. Look up towards the ceiling, chin to shoulder. Stretch your left arm up, stretch the right hand down. Keep your left thigh contracted and the abdominal muscles here. So you're using all your muscles in your entire body. The chest lifted. Don't relax the belly. Keep them strong. Right knee back. Left tip down and forward. Turn and twist your left shoulder and rib cage up and back. Stretch out, stretch down, stretch the arms apart. Change. Move your arms. Straighten leg. Right foot in. Left foot out. Bend the left knee and sit down. All the way down. Hips forward, upper body back. Move both arms. Really nice. And you got to bend. Then try to stretch your right arm up towards the ceiling at 12 o'clock. Left arm is at 6 o'clock. So two arms apart, opposite direction. Okay, train if you can. You want to try to lift your chest up more so the spine's not bending. Chest up, uh, spine straight. Yes. That's the direction. Left knee back. It's right hip down forward. Here we go, turn and twist the upper body back, right knee lock, right foot flat to the floor. Change, move your arms, 
Stretch the leg, hit it, break foot back, and arms to your sides. All right, now we're gonna get you ready for the floor. Take it down a little notch here, separate leg, forehead to knee. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Just cross the thumbs this time. Step right foot out to the right, three feet. A little shorter, take a quarter turn and face the right side. Bump your left hip forward, right hip back. One, two, three, four, five times. Sit from the side, two hips, part of one line. Inhale, stretch up, tuck your chin. Exhale, breathing, and you go down. Pull your belly in. Come all the way down. If you have to, you bend the right knee. Make the forehead and knee contact. That's the way. Now tuck your chin more. You might have to roll your right hip down a little bit, left hip up. So from the side, two hips are still one line. If the hands separate, you can try to bring them back together. Now pull your belly and suck the stomach in. Right at the very end, you want to tuck your throat, compress the throat with your chin, and bring your forehead a little bit higher on the knee. To change, press your forehead to the right leg, straighten out your right leg, arms and head together, slowly come up. Take your time, chin up, very, very last. Quarter turn, another quarter turn, face the left. Bump your right hip forward, left hip back. One, two, three, four, five times. And now stretch up, tuck your chin, exhale, and you go down. Exhaling all the way down, you're like an angry cat on Halloween. Bend the left knee as much as you need to. Forehead and knee connect. So make sure you have the connection. Shift more weight to the left foot than it's in your right. And pull the belly in. And right at the very end, press your forehead against your left knee to lock out your left knee. Change arms and head together, nice and slow. Inhale on the way up, chin up very last, quarter turn, right foot back to its place, arms to your sides. So it's a compression posture, you should pull the belly in, feel the throat compress, compressing the thyroid gland here, really good for the endocrine system. Second set, inhale, arms up, palms touch, thumbs cross, right leg up to the right, three feet. Quarter turn, face the right. Back side foot, 45 degree angle, left to forward, and we'll stretch up, tuck your chin, exhale, and around forward. Exhaling all the way down, one more exhale here, come all the way down, bend the knee if you need to, forehead and knee contact. If your hands separate it, try to bring them back together. Really nice, Eric, way to go in that with control. Bend if you can, try to roll your left hip down, but yes, I saw that left hip down. You're looking great in there. Suck your stomach in. Richard, you got it. Final few moments, press your forehead a little bit higher on the knee. Straighten out your right leg, arms and head together, slowly come all the way up. Chin up last. 180 degree turn. Make sure the stance has not come in. Right hip forward, left hip back. And now stretch up, tuck your chin, exhale, and go down. Make sure you keep the right hip forward on the way down. That often wants to swing back. So I'm just going to do this posture with you. Just listen for my cue of change. So hold it in the posture. Come all the way down. Bring your forehead to knee. Change. Arms head together. Inhale slowly. Come up. Really nice, everyone. Quarter turn, right foot back, and arms down to your sides. A tree pose is next. Come to the middle of your mat. Shift your weight to your left foot. Pick the right leg up. Grab your foot with both hands. Do a couple foot circles here. Sole the foot facing the ceiling. Hold the foot underneath the left hand. Slowly let the right knee drop down. So we're going to open up hips here. Also the knee opener, just be careful here, so you don't want any pain or pressure in the knee. Now from here, you bring your right hand up against your chest, the thumbs at the sternum. If your foot stays, you can bring the left hand up to meet the right. Otherwise, just hold the foot. The second shoulder of the right hips over ankle. And you want to stretch up, stretch up out of the waist here as you grow taller. 
Find your focus. Concentrate. Breathe. Change right leg down. Toes, heels, touch. Shift weight to your right foot. Lift the left foot up. Bring as high as you can on the right thigh. Hold your foot slowly. Let the left knee drop down. Bring the left hand up against your chest. If foot stays, you can bring the right hand up to meet the left. If the foot starts to slip, just bring the right hand up to hold the foot. You got it, Katrina, looking good. Great posture on you, Eric. The chest stays lifted, relax your shoulders down. All positions here is left knee back. So no pain there, but push the left knee a little bit back and left hip forward. So I'll help open up the hip. Final few moments, find your focus, concentrate and breathe. Change, left leg down, toes to touch. Toe stand is next. So best you can, you just make an effort, no worries if you follow the posture. Shift your weight to your left foot, pick the right foot up. Doesn't have to go quite as high for toe stand. Right knee drops down, right hand up against your chest, followed by left hand, namaskar. Toe stand, focus your eyes four feet in front of you, four forward from the lower spine. Left thigh stays straight. So again, this is a beginner posture. Maybe you try today. When your hands touch the floor, you bend your left knee and sit down. So even if you try and fall, you give it your effort. That's not a failure. Toast down, walk your hands to either side of you. Really nice try, Chan. That's the way. Now toast down, left hand up. First is left hand, followed by right hand. Lift your gaze and levitate. So stand change. Nice, Eric. I saw that. Place your hands on the floor, press yourself up. Right leg down, toes, toes, touch. Shift weights to the right foot, pick the left foot up. Hold underneath, left knee drops down. Left hand up, followed by right hand. Lift the floor four feet in front of you, forward fold. So if you've got something going on with the lower back, lower spine, definitely you can stay, stay in tree pose. Otherwise, try a toe stand, see what happens today. Place your hands on the floor, toe stand, bend the right knee, coccyx to the heel, walk your hands to either side of you. Chest up, straight spine, toe stand, left hand up, followed by the right. Lift your gaze and levitate off your heel. And go ahead and change. Place your hands on the floor, press yourself up. Great work, everyone. Left leg down, toes, heels touch. Take a cleansing breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale, let all of that go. Please turn around, lie your back for the spine, or um, awesome. the floor series. Feel free to adjust your mats. If you want me to see you on the floor. And when you're done adjusting, just come down to Savasana. So I'll get you set up, dead body pose. The so arms to your side, heels touch, toes fall open. Palms facing up, arms are close to the body. You want to relax your shoulders, keep the whole body nice and still, focusing, concentrating on the breath. So, trying to keep the whole body still. At the same time, quieting your mind. If you notice you have thoughts that enter your mind, just let them dissipate like clouds. They're flowing down a river. You want to let everything go. The next two minutes, you want to practice stillness with the body, quiet mind, focusing concentrated on the breath. Calm. Normal breathing, in and out through the nose.
All right, we're in Katiyama Floor Series. For, next is Papa Utasana, wind removing posture. Lift the right leg up, bend your right knee, and lock all 10 fingers two inches below the right knee. Pull your knee out to the right. Exhale, pull your right knee down all the way towards your shoulder. You want to avoid the rib cage here. Roll your left shoulder back down, your left hip, even the left lower back, your whole left side of the body stays flat to the floor. If your left calf muscle pop off the floor, you can even flex your left toes back. Tuck your chin so there's no gap between the neck and the floor. Pull on your rear right knee down towards the shoulder. Use your breath. Exhale and pull. Eventually, pull the right knee down all the way. This is maximum compression of the right hip joint. Hold it and freeze. Change lower right leg down. Left leg goes up. Bend the left knee, interlock all 10 fingers, bring the knee out to the left, avoiding rib cage. Exhale, pull your left knee down towards the shoulder, using bicep strength. So even roll the right shoulder back down towards the floor, right hip, even the right lower back. Pull right side of the body, stay flat to the floor, tuck your chin, using bicep strength. Exhale and pull the left knee down. You'll feel a little bit of compression, maybe even a little pinching sensation on the left hip. Tuck your chin, exhale, pull a little bit deeper, hold it, and freeze. Change, lower left leg down. Now lift both legs up immediately. Knees touching side by side, toes heels touching, and grab opposite elbows each other two inches below the knees. You can't grab the elbows and go for the forearms or the wrists, whatever the next best thing is for your body. Bring the back of your head to the floor, tuck your chin, exhale, and pull. Pull your knees to your chest. Press your hips down to the floor, tuck your chin, and its shoulders down. This posture, there are four opposing forces. It's chin down, knees down, shoulders down, and hips down. Eventually, in the future, when the skeletal system improves enough, low bone joints, your whole spine will be flat to the floor. Change, arms down, legs down, heels touch, toes fall open, Arms close to the body, palms facing up. Savasana. Second set, bend your right knee. Lift the right leg up, interlock all 10 fingers. Bring your knee out to the right. Exhale, pull the right knee down. Going to the rib cage. Try to go to your deepest point, right from the start. The compression, right hip joint. A bit of compression too on the ascending colon. So good for digestive system, tuck your chin. Exhale, pull the right knee down, pull it harder, hold it, freeze. Change, lower the right leg down. Left leg moves up, interlock all 10 fingers, knee out to the left, exhale and pull. Roll right shoulder down, right hip, right calf muscle stays on the floor, tuck your chin, no gap between the neck and the floor. Use the biceps, pull the left knee down, pull it harder, hold it and freeze. Change, lower left leg down. Both legs lift, grab opposite elbows if you can. Knees touching, toes heels touch, completely relaxed position. Exhale, tuck your chin, pull the knees down, press your hips down and shoulders down. So all four forces at the same time. Chin down, knees down, shoulders down, and hips down. They're trying to get the skeletal system one day, may not be today, all flat to the floor. Let's go through that one more time. Chin down, knees down, shoulders down, and hips down. Change, lower the legs down, heels touch, toes fall open, palms facing up, savasana. So savasanas, I, I keep them a little bit shorter when we're, we're not in the hot room to keep the body warmed up. So let's do the sit up, toes, heels touching side by side. Flex your feet back towards your face. Inhale your arms up over your head, palms flat, cross the thumbs. Inhale, breathing, and sit up. Dive forward, you double exhale, sh -sh -sh, elbows down and forward to the knees. Hold it for a moment and stretch. Change, come all the way up, turn around, line your stomach for the spine. Strengthening series. Yay. First is Cobra Pose. So line the tops of your fingers to the tops of your shoulders, just like that. Little baby fingers line up with the deltoids. Zip up your legs, toes, heels touching. So kneecaps, you see my kneecaps, they've already lifted off the floor. 
So it's like grasshopper wing with the arms. Inhale, now peel upper body into the air, using the lower back strength. Come up halfway only so the belly button remains on the floor. Rest the upper body lifts into the air. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Trapezius muscles are visible from the front. Your arms should form a 90 degree angle from the side. If they're not, use a little bit of hand strength here right at the end as you lift your chest up. Look up. Everyone, come up a couple more inches and hold it. Chain slowly lower down. Turn your head to the right. Left ear on the floor. So just let that posture settle. This posture, we're activating the lower back muscles here to lift your chest up. So concentrate on that. Let's do second set, chin forward, hands underneath the shoulders, tops of the fingers, top of your shoulders, zip up the legs, kneecaps lifted off the floor. So work on lower back here. Here we go. Inhale, look up and peel upper body into the air using lower back strength. So it's not a push up here. You want to use the lower back. And if you need to, you can just use a little bit of hand strength to get your arms 90 degree angle. Now look up. Even if it's just with your eyes, you look up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders down, use your lower back, even a little bit of leg strength here to lift your chest up, come up a little bit higher and hold it. Change, come all the way down. Slow, quick control. Head left, right ear down. Sabasana. Locus, chin forward, put your arms, palms down, lift your hips, bring straight arms underneath the body, line your pinky fingers up side by side, and the rest of the fingers spread apart. Relax the left leg, contract the right thigh, stretch your right leg back and lift it up into the air. So right leg lifts up about 45 degree angle, it's half a 90. Roll your right foot down, contract the right thigh, point your toe, stretch your right leg back, and lift it up higher, hold it, change. Lower the right leg down, relax it. It's on vacation now. Left thigh is engaged. Point your left toes, lift your left leg up. So left leg lifts up. Again, 45 degree angle. You don't want any bend in the knee. So if your knee is bending just a little bit, straighten it out, even if you lower the leg. That's the way you bend. Point your toe, stretch the leg back, lift it up and hold it. Change, lower the left leg down. Now mouth on the floor and readjust your hands. Mouth on the floor, readjust your hands, walk your hands down towards the knees. Zip up your legs, toes, heels touching. Inhale, roll your weight forward, exhale, and lift both legs into the air. Push into the floor with your upper body strength. Mouth down, roll your shoulders down, your chest down. You gotta squeeze the inner thighs together, no bend in the knees. Press down, now lift your legs up. Change slowly, slowly, come all the way down. Turn your head to the right, left ear on the down, left ear on the floor, Savasana. All right, second set, chin forward, palms down, lift your hips, bring straight arms underneath the body. Try to get them underneath as far as you can. Palms flat, left leg relaxed, contract your right thigh, lift your right leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change, lower the right leg down, relax it, contract the left thigh, lift your left leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change, lower the left leg down. Mouth down, readjust your hands, zip up the legs, toes, heels touch. Inhale, roll your weight forward, exhale, lift both legs up. Mouth down, push into the floor using upper body strength here, upper back. That's the way bend, no bend in the knees now. Keep your thighs contracted, point your toes. You got it, Eric, roll your weight forward, mouth down, shoulders down, chest down, and legs up. Change, slowly, slowly, come all the way down. Head to the left, right here on the floor. Right now, it's 
full locust, Kirtasalabhasana. Chin four, middle back here. Chin four, stretch your arms out in opposite directions. Zip up the legs, toes, heels touching side by side. Inhale, look up with arms, chest, legs up. You lift everything into the air. It's like a 747 taking off. Chin up, you look up, with arms, chest, legs up. Now work on your hands, hand fingertips as high as the top of your head, and your legs, toes as high as the top of your head. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale, look up with arms, chest, and legs up. Change, come all the way down. Control, head to the right, left here on the floor. Toes touch, heels hold. Second set, chin forward, arms out, arms out and strong. Triceps, biceps engage, zip up your legs, squeeze your thighs together, kneecaps off the floor, inhale, look up with arms, chest, legs up. 747 taking off, so it's hips down, hips down on the floor, but lift arms, chest, legs up. Work on trying to get your toes as high as the top of your head and your legs and your hands. Now sweep your arms back, look up, inhale, and come to your maximum point with arms, chest, legs up. Change, come down, slow, slow, control, head left, right here, down. All right, so we work lower, middle, upper spine. Now we're gonna work, put it all together with bow pose. Chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet from the outside. So grab the feet outside, start with knees and feet about hip width distance apart. So think knees in, knees in this posture. Inhale, now look up and use your thighs, kick back and up. Then make a teardrop shape with the body, kick back and up, relax the shoulders down, relax the toes, roll forward the soft part of your belly, allow your arms and shoulders to get full back. Now don't stop kicking without intermission, without interruption, as you kick, kick back, kick up, come to your deepest point right there, and kick, kick, kick. Change slowly, slowly, come down, head break, left ear down, toes touch, heels hold with them. Second set, last of the spine strengthening, chin forward, bend your knees, grab your feet. Get back on the outside, wrist straight, knees about hip width this apart, inhale, look up and kick, kick back and kick up. Go forward, soft part of your belly. Now look up, even if just with the eyes, your body will follow, roll forward, soft part of your belly. Arms and shoulders get pulled back with the kick. Knees closer together. Relax your toes as you kick. Now kick back, kick up, kick, kick, kick. Change, come down. Head left, right ear down. Chin forward, place your hands on, on the floor and press yourself up. Come to the top of your mat. Supta Vindrasana is next. Start by sitting on the heels, and then you separate your feet just enough. Slowly you walk your hips all the way to the floor. So you take your time in this posture, do what's right for your body. If the hips touch the floor, you can go deeper. Otherwise, you stay right here. Hips touch the floor, hands on the soles of your feet. Fingertips pointing forward, walk yourself back. First go right elbow, then left elbow. That feels okay, drop your head back. Top of the head touches the floor. And the back of your head. Arms up overhead. And grab opposite elbows to each other. So this is our fifth backward bend in a row. Chin lip tucked, face tucked. 
making a natural human bridge with the body. If it feels okay, you can start to slowly squeeze your knees closer together. Now, wherever you're at in this posture, make sure your knee is always touching the floor. To change, hands on the soles of your feet, press yourself up. Right elbow, left elbow, come all the way up. Turn around, line your back for Savasana, dead body pose. Let's do sit up, toes, toes, touch, put your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross the thumbs. Inhale, sit up. Second set. Start by sitting on the heels. Separate your feet. Hands on the soles of your feet, walk back. Right, left, head jumps back. Top of the head, in the back of your head. Arms up overhead, grab opposite elbows each other. So again, we're all might be at different points in this posture. You gotta bend really good posture on you. Stay safe here. Don't want any pain in the knees. So there's a saying in this in this posture that you can mess with the gods, but you cannot mess with the knees. And let's change. Hands on your feet, press yourself up. Turn around, Savasana. Arda Karmasana is next, half toward his toes, heels touch, arms up, palms flat, cross the thumbs, inhale, seat up. Turn around, come to the back of the mat. Start by sitting on your heels. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, cross the thumbs, biceps with ears, exhale and forward fold, nice and slow, arms and head together. Go slow here, especially towards the end. Put your forehead first if you can, then the hands touch. And if the hips came off the heels, you slowly sink them back. You might lift your chin up away from the chest a little bit. Your nose might graze on the floor. Now you're engaging your shoulders and your arms. So stretching your arms forward and shoulder and scapula stretching out of the body as you sink your hips back down to the heels. Creating traction along the spine here. Try to squeeze your heels back together. Now two chains, so it's arms and head together. Inhale your breath, slowly, slowly. Arms, head, slowly, comes up. You have to engage the abdominal muscles and come all the way up. Exhale, arms down, toes, heels touch, Savasana. So it's just touch, let your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross your thumbs. Inhale, seat up. Okay, second set, Ardha Karmasana. Come to the back of your mat. Sit down on your heels. Inhale, arms up, palms back, cross your thumbs. Stretch up, exhale, and you forward fall. So forward fall, you come all the way down, arms head together. Take your time here. You really have to use core strength here. That's the way I am, looking good. You got it. Now forehead touches and your hands touch. Now stretching arms forward. Even walk your hands up, right, left, right, left. Sink your hips down. Cool the belly in here. Bring traction in the spine. Now to come out of posture, just follow my words step by step, a little bit different here. Just go ahead and lift your hands up like one inch. Now inhale with arms head together at the same time. Yeah, nice and challenging. Yeah, nice job, nice job. Really nice. And arms down, turn around, Savasana. Really nice on you, Katrina, too. Right, moving forward, our deepest backward bend is Ustrasana, camel pose. Toes, heels touch, put your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross the bones. Inhale, seat up. 
Turn around, you come to the middle of the back of your mat. So you wanna start with your knees about hip width distance apart. Maybe double up fist this is a good measurement here. And stand up on your knees. Place your hands on the top of your buttocks, lower back, fingertips pointing straight down. Inhale, lift the chest up slowly, drop your head back as you push your stomach, hips, and thighs forward. Bend the upper body back halfway. Now stop right in the center there. If you want to, you can stay right here. If you want to go deeper, you reach back and grab your heels. Fingers inside, thumbs on the outside. If you're grabbing the heels, make sure you have a full palm grip. Now chest stays lifted. Continue to push your stomach, hips, and thighs forward. This is our deepest backward bend here. All with the force of gravity helping us chest up to change. Place your hands back on your hips, slowly, slowly. Uncurl, nice and slow, sit down the heels, turn around, Savasana. So, you might feel a little energized. Some people feel energized after that posture. You might feel a little bit white or drained, or maybe you just feel neutral. But we open up our chest, it's our deepest backward bend. And just know, whatever you might feel, any sensation, that's totally normal. Just come right back to your breath. Second set, toes, toes, touch, like your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross the thumbs, inhale, seat up. Turn around. And second set, Ushasana. We're gonna, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer. I'll say change right about the 20 second mark, but if you wanna stay, I'll show you on the 20 second mark, but if you wanna stay, feel free. So second set, you want to bring your knees a little wider, hands to your hips. Inhale, lift your chest up slowly, drop your head back, push stomach, hips, and thighs forward. If you want to go deeper, reach back, grab heels, fingers inside, thumbs on the outside, and push the stomach, hips, thighs, push everything forward to create your deepest backward bend. All right, right at 20 seconds if you want to come out, if you want to hold it. So stay right here. So whenever you're ready, turn around, line your back, Savasana. Really nice class. Let's complement it with rabbit pose, forward fold. Toes, heels, touch, touch your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross the thumbs. Inhale, seat up. And travel to the back of your mat. If you, have a, if you have a towel and you want an extra grip, wrap your feet with your towel. Not a requirement though, only if you like. So again, full palm grip, thumbs outside, fingers on the inside. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the chin, compression and round forward nice and slow, taking your time. As you exhale all the way down, that's the way, Eric. Bring your forehead to your knees, top of the head touches the floor. When you have that, roll your weight forward. That will straighten out the arms and elbows and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. If there's a gap between the forehead and knees, you walk your knees up once or twice, and you call it good right there. Now pull your belly in, suck the stomach in, shoulders up and hips up, knees down, heels together, and pull on the heels. To change, inhale, slowly, slowly, hips to the heels, unravel, just chin up very, very last. You got to bend, turn around, line your back, Savasana. So it's those touch, like the feedback, arms up, palms back across the bones, inhale, speed up. Okay, second set. I'm going to do this one with you. Wrap your feet with your towel. 
Fingers inside, thumbs outside. Inhale, lift the chest. Tuck your chin, exhale, and round forward. One long exhale all the way down. Top of the head, touch the floor, lift your hips up. If there's a gap, roll, walk your knees up once or twice, call it good. Now you know the moments, lift your hips up and pull in your heels. Just listen for my cue. Change. Turn around, lie on your back, Savasana. Okay, a couple more posture, toes, just touch, flex feet back, arms up, palms back, cross your thumbs, inhale, see it up. Turn around, face forward. Janu Shirasana is next. So right leg out, bend your left knee, solve your left foot, top of the inner right thigh, 90 degree angle with the legs. Inhale, arms up, interlock the fingers, center of the right leg, around forward, and interlock the fingers on the ball of the right foot. Bend the right knee as much as you need to, and make the forehead and knee connection. Yeah, so this is a front side compression posture. Everyone's looking great. Then try to flex your toes back toward your face. That's the way. Nice and Now, if you need to, you roll your left shoulder down. So from the side, two shoulders, one line. Tuck the chin, bend your elbows down to the floor, and continuously kick your heel. Eventually, your foot will lift right off the floor. Change, arms and head together. Slowly come up, left leg out, right leg in, center over the left leg, around forward, and bring your forward to knee, inner left fingers on the ball of the left foot. So you bend the left knee as much as you need to, even the grip of the foot, bend the knee, even if you bend it a lot, just like this, and make the connection. So this posture is compression first, that's primary, and then stretching. Now, you want two shoulders in one line. Katrina, a little bit right shoulder down towards the floor for you. Flex your toes back towards your face, Richard. Eventually, even a little baby toe, yes. Now contract the thigh, bending the elbows down is the next part as best you can. Even if you just think it, Richard, bend the elbows down. Yeah, looking great, and kick your heel. Eventually, your foot goes off the floor. Change, come all the way up. Toes, heels, touch. You lie back. I all the way back, shoulders hit, inhale and sit up. Dive forward, double exhale, double jerk. Do this one from the side. Okay. Grab your big toes with your peace sign fingers, walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left. So you want spine straight, so it's not a, it's not a rounded spine, straight spine. Inhale, lift the chest up, exhale and pull. Pull on your toes. Do you want to bring stomach to thighs, chest to knees? If you have still a little bit of bend in the knee, contract the thighs. Kick your heel, flex your toes back. If the legs are straight, you have stomach to thighs, chest to knees, then you can pull the elbows down to the floor and aim to touch your forehead to the toes. Otherwise, you stay right where you are. As you pull, pull harder, change. Slowly come up, line your back for Savasana. So it's just touch, flex feet back, arms up, palms flat, cross the thumbs, inhale, seat up. Second step, right leg out, corner wise, bend the left knee, inhale, arms up, center of the right leg, round forward, forehead to the knee, interlock fingers, and you pull. Pull, flex your toes back, bend the elbows down, contract the thigh. So front side compression, roll the left shoulder down, Two shoulders, one line. Even the left knee, left knee stays on the floor. Kick your heel, flex your toes back. Change, come all the way up. Switch the legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Center over left leg, round forward. Grab the left foot, round forward, forehead to the left knee. Flex your toes, right shoulder down, right knee down. And you just do the best you can. Change, so they come up. 
So we Richard to lie back, lie all the way down. Shoulders hit, inhale, see it up. Get your big toes, walk your hips back. Right, left, right, left, right, left. So maybe 10, 15 times. Get the sits bones out from underneath. You can use the manual adjustment if you like. Yep, you got it. Grab your big toes, middle index fingers, begin to pull. Pull, stomach thighs, chest and knees, spine stays absolutely straight. Try to straighten out your legs if you can. Try to push your knees down towards the floor if, there, if there's some space there. Yep, that's probably about as far as I can go today. Now you pull, stomach thighs, chest and knees. If the legs are straight, bend the elbows down, flex your toes back, aim to touch your forehead to the toes. Change, come all the way up. Turn around, line your back, Savasana. So it's just touch, let's feet back, arms up, palms back, cross the thumbs, inhale, seat up. All right, final posture. Half spine twist. Bend your left knee, bring your right foot up and over, outside corner of the left knee, and slowly roll the right hip back down to the floor. So my hips are pretty tight today. So I have to, if you have to, you can straighten out the left leg to get the hip on the floor. Right hand is at the base of your spine. So right at the base of your spine, inhale your left arm up and over. You want to try to grab the knee. If you can't grab the knee, you can grab your mat or towel. So get a grip there. That's the way Pachina. And now stretch up out of the waist, look over your right shoulder and begin to twist. So total spine twisting top to bottom. Looking over the right shoulder, chin shoulders are level. Push the knee a little bit out of the way with the help of the elbow. You can pull your right shoulder back, even the left shoulder back. Inhale, stretch up out of the waist. As you look more over the right shoulder to twist, twist, twist. Change, switch your legs. Bend right knee, left foot up and over. Again, left foot, you want flat to the floor, right knee on the floor, left hip on the floor. Left hand to the base of your spine. Inhale your right arm up and over. Grab your right knee on the floor. Inhale, stretch up and begin to twist. So inside of your elbow is out. Look over your left shoulder to twist. You can even roll your, your weight a little bit forward to, towards your right knee. Now push your knee out of the way and up with the elbow. Pull your left shoulder back and the right shoulder back. Where the eyes go, the body will follow as you twist, twist, twist. Change. Turn around, line your back, Savasana. Final sit up to a heels, touch your feet back, arms up, palms back, cross your thumbs. Inhale, seat up. And turn off these four. Let's end with couple bati breathing. So we start class with breathing, we end class with breathing. This time we want to try to cool the body off, release any toxins out, decarbonize the blood. So start by sitting on your heels. Place your hands on your knees. If there's too much on the knees, feel free to sit cross-legged style. Series of exhale through the mouth. The inhale will happen automatically. Let's go ahead and relax your shoulders down. Inhale to prepare and begin. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do another set of 60. Go ahead and relax your shoulders down. Inhale to prepare and begin. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Please turn around, line your back. For final sabasana, I'll, I'll guide you through it.
but you just want to come to your deepest point of relaxation. No official form here. <clears throat> now scan the body. We'll start with your toes and your feet. You can wiggle the toes. On your exhale, relax your toes and your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your calf muscles. Just notice there's any tension there, you just let it go. It releases right from the body. Your hips relax into the floor. Your belly's soft, soft abdomen, soft belly. Relax your shoulders down. Relax your triceps and biceps. Relax your hands, relax your fingers. Exhale, relax your neck. Soften your jaw. Slowly let the tongue relax off the roof of your mouth. Relax your jaw, relax your face. Relax your forehead. Just let everything go. Now open your heart up. And keep your heart open. Thank you all so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to guide and lead you. I hope to see you all back in the hot room, hopefully sooner than later. Please keep yourself safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Thank you, Justin. Hi, Richard. Thank you.